discuss. I am Kiki. I have received professional first aid training. Let's search for the injured in need of help. When an earthquake strikes, natural gas pipelines are damaged. The leaking gas ignites due to the spark of the electrical appliance and starts a fire. Ah, what shall we do? Make a wet towel first. Covering your nose and mouth with a wet towel can filter the smoke out of the air and reduce the intake of toxic gas. Check if the doorknob is hot before opening. In case of fire, touch the doorknob with the back of your hands. Ah, it's burning hot! The door is burning hot! That means the fire is coming our way! Keep the door shut. When trapped indoors by fire, you should immediately call for help from balconies or windows. Help! Help! Do not call out for help for too long. Keep your strength up and wait for rescue. Touch the doorknob with the back of your hands. If the doorknob is not hot, then check if there's smoke in the corridor. If there's no smoke, evacuate as quickly as possible. When the fire breaks out, you should find an emergency exit sign right away and follow the directions to evacuate as quickly as possible. Drag the injured and follow the direction indicated by the emergency exit to locate the exit. After an earthquake strikes or a fire breaks out, it's dangerous to take the elevator. Let's take the stairs. My arm was scalded. It hurts. I am coming to give first aid. Rinse with clean water to cool the wound. Cut off the clothing near the wound. You need to go to the nearby hospital for further treatment. Okay, Kiki, thank you so much. You're welcome. How should we perform self-rescue when the fire breaks out? Let's review. 1. Cover your nose and mouth with a wet towel. 2. Keep the door shut if it's burning hot. 3. Call for help from balconies or windows. 4. Stay calm and wait for rescue. Perform self-rescue from fire to evacuate safely. 1. Cover your nose and mouth with a wet towel. 2. If the doorknob is not hot, open the door to check if there's smoke. 3. Bend forward and proceed to locate emergency exit. 4. Take the stairs instead of the elevator. First aid for scald. 1. Rinse with water to cool the wound. 2. Cut off the clothing. 3. Go to a hospital for treatment. Let's search for the injured in need of help. Oh no! He seems to have gotten electric shock! Let's get professional staff for help right away! When a power line falls on the ground near you, it creates a step voltage. You need to hop on one foot immediately and stay away from where the power line falls so you won't get an electric shock. The firefighter boots are made of special rubber that can stop the flow of electricity and offer protection against electrical shock. 
Do you know what tools can be used to pick the power line? You are right. Dry wooden sticks can stop the flow of electricity. The on-site environment is safe. I have received professional first aid training. We can start the rescue now. What's the matter? What's the matter? Someone, help me. Please help me call the emergency number and get an automated external defibrillator, AED. Okay. If the chest doesn't rise for five to 10 seconds, it indicates that the injured has the cardiac arrest without breath. Start cardiopulmonary resuscitation, CPR, immediately. First, unbutton the shirts of the injured. Fold your hands at the center of the chest, lower half of the breastbone. Press down firmly to carry out chest compressions. Perform 30 chest compressions. Open the airway. Then, perform two rescue breaths until the automated external defibrillator, AED, is available. We've got the automated external defibrillator. Turn on the defibrillator and operate according to the voice prompt. The cardiac rhythm is being analyzed. Do not touch the patient. Please leave immediately. Tap on the electric shock button. Great! You are awake. Once the medical team is here, we will give you further treatment. Don't worry. What are the first aid procedures for cardiac arrest? Let's review. 1. On-site evaluation and examination. 2. Call for help. Dial for emergency medical services and get AED. 3. Perform cycles of 30 chest compressions and 2 rescue breaths. 4. Carry out electric defibrillation. Let's search for the injured in need of help. When the earthquake struck, I fell down and got cut by the glass on the ground. Don't worry, I am coming to give first aid. Put on protective gloves and apply pressure with a dressing on the wound to stop bleeding. First, go to an open and safe area to ask the doctor to give you further treatment. Let me help you clean up the wound. Saline solution. Apply from the center of the wound and move outward. Iodophore. Iodophore can kill bacteria on the wound. Put on protective gloves and apply pressure with a dressing on the wound to stop bleeding. from the center of the wound and move outward. <laughs> Iodophore can kill bacteria on the wound.
It's still quite dangerous at the moment. Stay in the emergency shelter and don't run around. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. How should we perform first aid for forearm bleeding? Let's review. 1. Apply pressure to stop bleeding. 2. Ask a doctor for cleaning up the wound and disinfection. 3. Wrap the wound. First aid for bruise. 1. Clean the wound with saline solution. Disinfect with iodophore. Let's search for the injured in need of help. When the earthquake struck, I got hit in the head and the hands by a flower pot. It hurts. It's dangerous here. Let's go to an open and safe area and I will perform first aid on you. For head injury, apply pressure with a dressing to stop bleeding. Fold the bandage or triangle towel. Drag the bandage or triangle towel around the head to fix the dressing. A bone that pierces through the skin indicates an open fracture. A bone that does not pierce through the skin indicates a closed fracture. The injured suffer from a closed fracture of his hand. For an open fracture, bandage it as a closed fracture before fixing the fracture. First, protect the arm with a soft cloth. Then, choose a magazine, a branch, or a... And finally, secure the arm with a bandage. Be careful not to wrap it too tightly. You need to go to the nearby hospital for further treatment. Thank you very much, Kiki. You're welcome. <laughs> How should we perform first aid for head injury? Let's review. 1. Apply pressure to stop bleeding. 2. Wrap the wound with a triangle towel. First aid for closed fracture. 1. Fill with soft cloth. 2. Secure with a splint. 3. Wrap with a bandage. 4. Suspend with a triangle towel. Let's search for the injured in need of help. When the earthquake struck, my hands were cut by falling stones. Don't worry, I am coming to give first aid. Put on protective gloves and apply pressure with a dressing on the wound to stop bleeding. Great job! The bleeding stops! Wrap the wound with a bandage. Sprained ankle. Take the disposable medical ice pack out of the first. Tear open the inner bag. Shake the ice pack to cool it. Wrap the ice pack with a towel and put it on the sprained ankle to reduce the swelling and pain. Drag the bandage to fix the wound with the figure of eight bandage method.
elevate the injured foot to help with ankle recovery. Do not exercise after the sprain, otherwise it will affect the ankle recovery. Okay, thank you, Kiki. You're welcome. How should we perform first aid for finger bleeding? Let's review. 1. Apply pressure to stop bleeding. 2. Wrap the wound. First aid for sprained ankle. 1. Put ice pack on the sprained ankle. 2. Wrap the wound with figure of eight bandage method. 3. Elevate sprained ankle and do not exercise. Let's search for the injured in need of help. When the earthquake struck, I fell down the stairs and can't move now. Don't move. I'll get medical help. We are professional doctors. You can leave the injured to us. For someone with spinal injuries, improper move or handling of the injured can be very dangerous and may exacerbate spinal injury. You must ask professional medical staff for help. First, transfer the injured to a long ridge board by using the whole body turnover method. Drag the fixing strap to secure the injured. We'll send you to a nearby hospital for treatment. Okay, thank you. How should we perform first aid for spinal injury? Let's review. 1. Do not touch the injured. Ask doctors for help. 2. Elevate the injured by the whole body turnover method. 3. Fix the injured. 4. Send the injured to the hospital. Welcome to Earthquake Science Museum. I am the docent, Kiki. Today, let's talk about earthquake warning. What is the principle of earthquake warning? When the earthquake strikes, earthquake station near the epic center captures the initial seismic wave information. Then, earthquake warning center immediately estimates seismic parameters and influence intensity and sends an alert to the earthquake region before the destructive seismic waves arrive so as to remind residents to take urgent measures and alleviate disaster losses. When the earthquake strikes, there are two main types of seismic waves, longitudinal wave and transverse wave. Longitudinal wave has faster propagation speed while causing less damage. Transverse wave has slower propagation speed while causing more damage. When an earthquake warning system detects the arrival of the longitudinal wave, it will send an alert before the arrival of the more destructive transverse wave. There exist blind zones for earthquake warning near the earthquake epic center. In general, the effective range of an earthquake warning is about 50 to 200 kilometers from the epic center. As a result, it's difficult for the people to respond, even if an alert is sent for areas within 50 kilometers from the epic center. While for areas 200 kilometers away from the epic center, as the damage caused by the earthquake may not be serious, an alert is not required. Earthquake warning messages can be communicated through radio, television, mobile phones, and other media. Once receiving an earthquake warning message, if you are on a second or higher floor, remember the tips of lie prostrate, cover up, 
and old fern, and protect yourself by finding a shelter nearby. If you are on the first floor or stay outside, immediately run to an open and safe area. Once receiving an earthquake warning message, the bullet train will make an emergency break immediately in order to stay safe. Nuclear power plants will shut down immediately as well. Next, let's reinforce your knowledge on earthquake warning through racing games of earthquake warning system and seismic wave. Hello everyone, I am the Earthquake Warning System. This is the Seismic Longitudinal Wave. The more destructive Seismic Transverse Wave is right behind. I must bring the earthquake information to the residents in the town ahead. The seismic transverse wave hasn't caught up. We'll reach the town soon. Keep going. Transverse wave is approaching. Five, four, three, two, one. The seismic transverse wave has arrived. Now, do you know the principle of earthquake warning? The earthquake strikes. Evacuate to the open and safe area immediately. 